lifting. Helping one of his technicians replace a door is still part of the job for John Held. Even though four years ago, he founded the company One Man and a Toolbox. And back then, it was basically that. One other guy and John. This company was not created as a business opportunity. Doesn't sound like any company's mission statement, does it? But from the first day, John said this was not going to be a typical small job construction team. I'm not so interested in our profit and, mar profit and loss margin, how much money we'll make. I'm interested in how often clients return and call us back again and again or refer people to call. That's the secret to the success, not playing the short game and how do we get the money. It's a business foundation that began as a young man in Alabama, an Eagle Scout, and after high school, the United States Army and its military patrol. Honor, discipline, and doing right by others are principles John would bring into his own business, but not right away. He worked offshore in the oil patch and for more than a decade slinging a hammer in the construction industry, learning the right and the wrong way to do things. And what he found was a great need for the small but very important jobs around the house. Too small for a big contractor, but perfect for one man in a toolbox if it was done right. John wants only skilled labor and usually only hires people 35 or older. They wear uniforms and cleaning up religiously is part of a contract. The company can handle anything, commercial or residential. There is only one mandate, treat it like your grandmother's house. You've got to find somebody, number one, that has the skill level, that has the integrity, that has the, you know, uh, the moral aptitude to be able to go into someone's house, take care of the problem, think about the long term, taking care of the client, not how, what's in it for me right now. All right, this is what we need to do for tomorrow. John joins a growing fraternity of men living in New Orleans, not because of the job, but because of a woman. Met her and that was a crash course. That's all it took. Next thing I knew, I spend the rest of my time going, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Kelly was a preschool teacher here before they met. After marriage, she joined the company because she too saw it was not your typical construction crew. I know our goals our morals, our intent, and how we, you know, want to treat the customers, or exactly how we want to be treated, so it couldn't fail. You won't hear the word handyman or jack of all trades around here. The goal is an all-star team of tradesmen, each with a special skill set. No one paying for professional service should be paying for a jack to come by and do work. I need kings of all trades when it comes to the construction industry. The frame was rotting. And you only get one shot with a first impression and someone's trust. It's an elderly lady. She has 24-hour care. The back door doesn't lock. We sent out a technician today to fix it. Something simple like that to give her security that her doors are locked. Eat. There's Rue, the chocolate lab, who greets every one at the door. Labs seem to be an industry standard. Other than that, one man in a toolbox is not your typical construction family. <laughs>